You are listening to Susie Vinnick, a Saskatoon native transplanted to the Niagara region of Ontario. Susie Vinnick is the proud owner of a gorgeous voice, prodigious guitar, and bass chops. Ooh, both. Among her most recent successes being nominated for a 2016 Maple Blues Award for Female Vocalist of the Year, achieving finalist status in the solo duo category at the 2013 International (gasps) Blues Challenge in Memphis, Tennessee. The 2012 CBC Saturday Night Blues Great Canadian Blues Award, that's a ridiculously long title, and the 2012 Series XM Canada Blues Artist of the Year. This is ridiculous. I don't want to keep reading. So much stuff happening right there. Susie, thank you for joining us. Thank you for coming back. Thanks for having me. Listen, Susie. Yes? Does life have to get to a point where it really sucks in order for you to write good blues? Um, or, or can you stay just up in that creative, third-person, detached zone and write good blues? Because Ralph Macchio yeah. would say, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I think uh, there's always stuff going on. There's good, there's bad, and you just got to keep working at it, and mm-hmm. you get what, you, what the muse feeds you. Okay, so what... Uh, Okay, so my, how had yeah sorry go ahead no you go ahead I was gonna ask how has your blues how has your blues changed how has your music changed morphed over the years because you know what drives me nuts are two things well, okay three things millennials number one number two although there's a room filled with really awesome ones right right here right now I know they are so, yeah that was a backing they up are awesome um, are those who are like life coaches and they're in their thirties shut up and then three those who sing blues. And and really haven't done much of life. Like they're still living in their mom's basement kind of thing. You you know, come on. Come on. Those are the three things. That's a that lot make of judgment crazy. in one sentence that I there just put out there. But yeah. So those are the three things yeah. that make you crazy. Yeah. And the question for me is Oh yeah, yeah sorry. sorry. I'm just I'm just um Okay, so the question is <laughs> This is a terrible interviewer, aren't I? Interviewee. So no, tell me what you No, it's on me. <laughs> the quest the question is, how has your music changed over the years now that you've got a little more life under your belt? Hopefully it's gotten better. Hopefully it's gotten stronger. Just from do you, a, but do you feel a difference in your in your songwriting? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean this record is. I try to keep it as positive as possible, um, lyrically, just vibe. Just because I'd go, been going through a bit of a challenging time, I wasn't sure I was going to do another record because of some stuff that was going on, and so the fact that yeah yeah so the fact that it ended up happening. Um, it was a great thing, and I wanted to keep things pretty positive. So, okay. so I think like, there's enough kind of darkness going on out in the world. Yeah. So. I would like to give people a little sample of your music. So okay. I was wondering if you is, do you have your guitar here? I do. Funny enough. I was wondering if you could do a song. I would love to. Tell me a little bit about this song that you're about to play. This song uh, got its start in the fall of 2016 just after the U.S. election. And after, I think we'd had an election that fall, if I'm not mistaken, and just uh, was feeling a little dismayed. Growing up, you know, how we go to school and we're supposed to be nice to one another and yeah, and uh, just watching how people were behaving and how it seemed like political figures weren't taking care of people. And I, was feeling dismayed by that. So I was invited to be part of this project called the Acoustic Guitar Project, and where you get a guitar for a week, and you, you're you invited to write a song and then perform it. It's posted online. It happens all over cities in the world. So I had in the back of my mind that I wanted to write a song called The Golden Rule, and I tried to undertake writing a song called The Golden Rule in a week. How'd that, just, how'd that go? Uh, well, I got the first draft, and I came up with some cool music, I think. And um, But lyrically, it didn't quite go as deep as I wanted it to. So I left the first version for the project and then brought it to a couple of other, other co-writers, um, Arlene Bishop, who's well, a Toronto songwriter. Okay. And uh, amazing. Yeah. Uh, great, great woman. We've written a couple of songs together before. And my co-producer, Mark Lalama. And... Arlene came up with a bunch of lyrics, and then Mark suggested something for the chorus, which kind of tied it all together. Okay. So, so it's just uh, really a song about um, being kind. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only blues phenom. She's so much more than that label. Susie Vinnick. <laughs>
people are created equal is it right that day and night we must fight for what is right oh the golden rule the golden rule hearts can be tender hearts can be cruel is it me for me and you for you or will we live by the golden rule as we grow up some not everyone believes the same way we do don't make it wrong no no matter what the way our warm hearts say love and care for others every sister and brother people to listen to because of um well i guess it comes down to talent um <laughs> but you you just have a nice combo platter going you've got some pretty fantastic uh skills on the axe you have obviously the chops right your vocals are uh, thoroughly enjoyable and you sing in a range that um i think uh, has a nice resonance um but then Lyrically, you, you, yeah, I don't know. Like, I know you told us about 14 people that helped you with that song, but it's about three, okay. yeah, it's cool. I was rounding up. <laughs> um, <laughs> I missed Tim's random laugh. Tim, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> anyway, uh, I guess all that's to say I like your stuff, man, which is why you've won thank stupid you. amount of awards. What's like, come on, seriously, three times Juno nominee. Is it is it a privilege just to be nominated? Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it means your your peers or your your peers or industry acknowledges you, right. and the win is like bonus. So I'm really happy about those. Yeah. You toured uh, with Stuart McLean. I did. Ugh, sadness there, hey? Eh? I mean, yeah, man. Yeah. When did he pass again? When was it? Was A year it ago, February. Right. Yeah. 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 I was down in uh, Kansas City when I found out. He passed. So. And the John McDermott Band as well. Yeah. These are some great names. <laughs> Um, Bosnia, Persian Gulf, Peacekeepers. That's going back a few years, but yeah, I was, I was in, uh, my first overseas trip was to a war-torn country <laughs> in 1998. Oh, you went, went I was going to say you went to the States? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, to, uh, Bosnia and we, we, uh, traveled around. We stayed in an old carpet factory and, um, we, uh, did about five shows for the troops and, uh, it was Pretty amazing place to be. The first thing we did when we got 
got landed was did a mine debriefing. So they showed us what different mines looked like, told us where to walk, not to walk. And this is your flak jacket and your helmet. You'll be wearing these when we travel on the bus because there's still some angry folks who like to shoot. So, um, we, you know, is it? I don't even know how to say this. What I'm trying to get at is: is the fear real or is it made up? Like, is, do you just imagine that you're actually in a legit scary situation, or is it legit scary? Um, they would probably not have had us come if it was still if there was still some. Uh, some bombing and that going on a few weeks before we got there um th the un buildings in titov Dervar uh, had been there'd been some shelling happening and and uh I remember they showed us they drove us around the area just to show us the shelled buildings and the effects of war and and it was pretty heavy mm. i mean never mind it was my first overseas trip <laughs> so that was it was that was my first Whoa. yeah so, uh, so that was in. sort of getting getting one aspect of things, but then being driven around, and I was lucky. Another singer and I got to go in a jeep. Like we travel in a, a bus from from some from our, our our accommodations to performance spaces. But one morning we got to travel in a jeep with two of the, the soldiers, and they uh, they showed us like they were telling us sort of personal experiences and and having having to clean up sites, finding mass graves, and, and <sighs> just, like, total inconceivable things, you know, coming from... Well, I shouldn't say that. Now it's... Was, my head was in a different space and knew different things in 1998 yeah. than it does now, but mass graves and, and what people do to each other, you know? So, um, I mean, but it was a wonderful experience in that regard, and uh, I learned a lot about the military and... And which I thought, well, you know, war is bad. Soldiers are bad. And, and then, and then, meeting a whole, all these real people who were there to kind of clean up and take care and help people to resettle. And are you the kind of person that cares too much or not enough? Um, I'm probably a little more of an armchair activist than um, I, I'd like. I'd like to do more. Sometimes I went down to New Orleans back in 2006 with my partner James. And we did some rebuilding down there <coughs> after Katrina. Okay. So we went down for a week and, and worked on a few houses through uh, an organization uh, that I am, the name is escaping, uh, I'm forgetting the name right now. That's, That's okay. right. But so so sometimes I'm active, and then even th with music, sometimes we'll do fundraisers and try yeah. to help uh, different organizations. And What song are you doing? Uh, what did I decide? Oh, I'm gonna do a song called Gonna Find Some Freedom. Yeah, baby. That's a good, like, uh, Women's Day song. It's, uh, sure. Or is that sexist just that I said that? I think it's just, it's, a. Uh, am weird. You, it, just keep going. That's okay. I'll, I'll just, let me just play. Uh, yeah, I'll shut okay. up now, too. Okay. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Susie Vinnick. <laughs> As they pass, Robin wrestles worms from the ground. Little boys are running wild, catching crickets in the grass. Little girls are building clover crowns. Gonna find some freedom, find some peace, find some freedom, find release. In this world, in my mind. around silver dollars shining in his hand gonna find some freedom find some peace find some freedom find release in this world in my mind I learn to breathe a love of time find some freedom gonna find some peace
find some freedom, find release In this world in my mind, I learn to breathe the love of time Find some freedom, I'm gonna find some peace In this world in my mind, I learn to breathe the love of time I'm gonna find some freedom, find some peace Find some freedom Find some peace, find some freedom, find some peace. Susie Vedic, yeah. again. Yeah. As they say, knocking it out of the park. <laughs> um, that is a track off of a CD I have in my hand here. The CD is called Shake the Love Around. Uh, which, for some reason, reminds me of one of those old exercise machines <laughs> that had the belt that went yeah. around the... Hey, No? Okay. Exactly what inspired it. How yeah. did you know? <laughs> I found one of those in an antique place and it worked. I was that far from buying it just to have, just oh, to have it. To make milkshakes. To make, <laughs> make milkshakes. There you go. In your backyard. Mm-hmm. Um, Susie Vinnick, can you caress me? Oh. Squeeze me? With your oh. humming. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. No, it says in the bio here, even her humming is like a warm caress. There you go. Really? Uh, that's... But the bio writer wrote, I guess so. She was moving. Do you hum a lot in songs? If I forget the words, probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is the baggage that comes with being from Saskatoon? Oh, oh, are you running back to Saskatoon? I don't know. No, really? it's, it's a good place to be from. Right. It's a great city. Growing up, lots of culture. Uh, beautiful city with the river running through and paths around the Miwasin. Go ahead, say it, Tim. No, I was going to say river runs through and over it occasionally. Yeah. Yes. No. Isn't maybe, there flooding? Yeah, probably parts. You just get the big floods like five, See, six years See, oh, Tim doesn't okay, realize maybe. he's not part know. of I've, this I've, segment. I haven't lived there in 20 years. I, I can't even spell Saskatchewan. See, he's still going. Nobody nobody cares. Um, humble Howard Glassman. Humble Howard Glassman. Humble, Howard Humble Glassman. Howard from Humble and Fred. Oh, okay, okay. He's from there. Is he from there? He was the only Jew in Saskatoon. My best friend was Jewish. Though. Other I used than to go to your best friend and her family, because I used to go to synagogue. There was it was Howard and then the, the Sklars. It was just us. That was <laughs> That's it. So funny. Wait, I just met a Sklar recently. Who did? Who was that? Never mind. Okay. Like um, face for Phil Collins. Let's talk. Of, oh yeah, I met Leland. Leland. I met. I met. Did you Le- meet Leland? Yeah. Where was I? It was some, I've never met him. Was it with Gordon Lightfoot? No, when I smashed my head off the sewer pipe in the garage. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. So many stories. So little time. Uh, speaking of time. And Leland Sklar, and I have, you got to get the Saskatoon connection. At the, what? The Saskatchewan. What? He plays a Dingwall designer base, which are built in Saskatchewan, and so do I. That's it. Okay, wow. There you go. And he's amazing. Just makes you want to comb his beard. Re- I know. Exactly. Oh. Yeah, okay. Sorry to interrupt. No, beard. Not beer. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Homer. Speaking of donuts. Um, what was the jingle, and are you allowed to say it publicly? I can sing it. Uh, do your people care if I sing it? I don't care. Do you okay, care? So it it so goes for, a little something like this, because so you might recognize his voice, ladies and gentlemen. Five years. Always fresh, always Tim Hortons. I sang that for five Ooh, years. Just got chills. Yeah. Just and got thirsty. Baby. <laughs> Donuts. <laughs> um, I hope you made money off that. It was great. It was a great, uh, okay. wonderful gig. All right. It was a wonderful gig. Thank you, Tim Hortons people. If you could do a jingle for anything that is out there right now, what would you want to do? Oh, God. Drew Marshall show. Yeah. There you go. The Jim. Always, <laughs> Always got time for show. Drew Marshall. <laughs> Come on. Always got time for Drew Marshall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they can't sue us because it's yours. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Oh. Wait, that's McDonald's. Oh, yeah. That was the ending of a McDonald's. But she's not I, I merged either. the two of them. It's confusing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There you go. Has that? Oh, did that cross you? That's good. There. All right. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, what cereal had this line? They're great. They're great. He's great. You're listening to the Drew Marshall <laughs> oh, Show. There. there you go. You are a walking. Uh, uh, yeah. Something whatever. Something watched yeah. and listened too much. No. Television. Okay. Uh, let's do another song. Well, actually, this is, speaking of songs, this is one I, I wrote with that fellow, Matt Anderson, and it's on Matt's album, Waitlist. We wrote it, it was the first, I, I moved to Niagara six, almost six years ago and bought this old church, and it's the first song that got written in the church. Matt had texted me and said, hey, I'm going to be on your neck of the woods, you can get together and write a hit. And nice. I said, of course. Nice. So then we wrote the song, and it's on his album, Waitlist, and I loved it, and I said, do you mind if I do it on my record? So this is also on Shake the Love Around. Beautiful. It's called Drift Away, and it's about... Uh, when you're going through a tough time, remembering to step and take a breath. Perspective and breathe. 
Exactly. Love it. Drop in, as the yogis say. Ladies and gentlemen, Susie Vinnick. Drift away from your worries Drift away from all your cares The storm is raging, it'll be over soon Let it go and drift away Carry on through the hard times strife the darkness is fading it'll be morning soon let it go and carry on when you don't know what to do You don't know who to be And you don't know where to go When the end is so hard to see Drift away From your worries Drift away Storm is raging, it'll be over soon. Let it go and drift away. The storm is raging, it'll be all over soon. Mm -hmm. Let it go and drift away. There she is, folks. There she is. Susie Vinnick, what a pleasure to have you back again.